somewhere along the German coast, you may come across a small stone building that clearly shows signs of age. Next to the entrance is a faded sign reading Howl's Shelter. There is no room in climbing down the ladder inside to the first level and investigating the chambers down there, but going further will possibly cost you your sanity. In the main room, there is nothing but an old well and doors to other rooms. One room serves as a sleeping area, while the other room acts as a kitchen, complete with a stone oven and an iron cauldron filled with stagnant water. This is all that you can see here without climbing down the well, which is the only way to proceed. Take caution, however, as once you climb down, there is no guarantee that you will come out the same, or even at all. Once you reach the bottom of the well, you will see a passage which ends in the wooden door. Once you open it, you will find yourself on a bridge reaching across a huge underground chasm. On the other side, you will see another door leading into your first set of horrors. Be careful in crossing the bridge, as falling off will surely be your end. As you enter the huge room beyond the bridge, the stench of death will be overbearingly present. The smell comes from the small cells, which you should never look directly into. No human eyes can handle what lies inside them. Proceed to the other end of the room and climb up the ladder waiting there. On the second level, which acts as a balcony that oversees the cells, you will find two desks facing each other. The only things you can find in the drawers of these desks are diaries that belong to soldiers taken prisoner during multiple wars, even some which have been forgotten. There is no harm in reading them, but they all consist of the daily tortures they endured under the enemy, which can be pretty gruesome. Parallel to the ladder that you climbed before, is yet another ladder leading downwards. After you climb down, you will be on the path directly above the cells from earlier. On the end of the path is the entrance to a hall next to a small stream. Continue down this hall until you come to a rotten wood door. Once you enter through it, make sure to close it. The last thing the world needs is the evil that lurks beyond the door to be able to escape. After closing it, you will find a hole leading down into darkness. If you wish to leave, now is the time to do so. Just go back the way you came and make sure not to look at the cells. If you choose to continue, you must whisper, but I wish to see thee before jumping down the pit. If you fail to utter these words before jumping down the hole, you will hear voices proclaiming how the end of the world will pass while you fall or until you die of first. If you speak the phrase and then jump down, you will land in a pool of cold water. Swim to the edge quickly or else something will pull you down and end your life slowly. Once you reach land, you will confront a great monstrosity made of strange ooze. Its face will resemble someone you loved who is deceased. You must shout the name of whomever it resembles before it swallows you whole. Once it hears the name, it will melt into nothingness. Where it once stood will be an orange flower. Grab the flower and close your eyes. Once you open them, 
you will find yourself at the grave of the loved one that the monster resembled. The flower you have now will comfort you whenever you hold it. Be careful not to abuse this power though, as you will become addicted to the pleasure it provides if you use it too often. You will never want to let go. If you hold on to it for too long, the earth around you will start to entangle you until it pulls you into the dirt, where you will never be heard from again.